Hi everyone, welcome back. January 1st, 2025. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The new year has begun and the training continues. There is no new year's resolution. Every day is the same thing for me. I just finished working out for an hour. I work another half hour later and then I end my day with 40 minutes of stretching before I go to sleep. But what I want to talk to you about is this, okay? I came to the conclusion and I challenged all the scientific studies, they claim that we have a maximal lifespan ceiling due to genetic problems. No, 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 no. Genes don't make you die around 115 if you live that long. It ain't genetic, it's neural. Okay, it's the motor unit. I keep repeating it on my channel about motor units. Motor unit loss is universal. By age 75, we lost 50%. This is why we slow down as we age. This is the reason why we slow down. But, but these longevity experts ignore this. They don't even mention it. It's not even mentioned anywhere. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm trying to, what I'm saying is this. By age 90, by age 100, you have 10% left. As you reach the 100 mark, 101, 102, as you go past that, the motor units diminish even more. That means it goes into the single digits. Your body, your muscles don't work unless you have motor units. That's just biology. Without motor units, your entire body can't work. So your entire body has motor units, fingers all the way to your toes. Everything, every muscle, the little muscle to the biggest muscle has motor units. So people say, well, elite athletes have been studied and they never made it to 100. Who the heck are elite athletes? They're nobody special. They trained one body part. Okay, they, they played one sport. Even two, you need to train your motor units in your entire body. Your entire body has to be trained. Every single motor unit, because what happens is this. If you just jog or swim or whatever, you train your lower body, your legs. Your upper body is vulnerable. The aging process, mother nature attacks your weaknesses where there's no motor units. And that's why people continue to die. You people, look, I'm, I'm, I'm being realistic here, okay? Don't take this the wrong way. There is nothing right now, no gene editing, nothing, nothing can help motor unit loss. It's neural. It's neural. It's the mind. They need to hack the mind. Researchers need to hack the mind to, to slow down the loss of motor units. Right now, there's no computer strong enough you need a computer, what's called Yota scale, millions of times stronger than the strongest computer today. And then even then, how are they going to attach it to a human body to control the mind, to tell the mind the firing rate, to tell the muscles to move? They have to put a chip in you. And how the heck are they going to do this? This is what they're not telling you. I'm going to make a, a video much better than this. I just want to give you a synopsis of what I'm talking about. You need a computer strong enough to hack the mind, to tell your muscles to move. But here's the best part, the connection. You, the, the energy to control this computer is equivalent to lighting up a city hundreds of times over. How is your body, your body's gonna burn. When that chip is inside you, your body's gonna burn. But even then, people are not gonna put a chip in their body, even if, even if this is possible. People go crazy with the COVID vaccine. Oh, they implanted a chip in me. You think people are going to put a chip in their body where they tell you, oh, don't worry, we're going to reverse your age, number one. Number two, even they put the chip in old man's body to make neural connections and new motor units. Your body's old, your muscles are old, your bones are old, your ligaments, your tendons, your blood flow, everything is old. It will not be able to withstand the new motor units. It's like a catch-22. You will die even if they create new muscle fibers in later years. The point I'm making is this. The maximum lifespan ceiling is caused by the loss of motor units because it is universal. Genes can be turned on and off. People can die at 90, at 80, etc. What I'm trying to say is this. Even if all your organs are perfectly healthy at 110, you will die in your sleep 
of because your body can't breathe. The motor units are needed for breathing, for heartbeat, all this. This is what the longevity researchers are not concentrating on and they're not telling you. Okay. What do you think centenarians, I'm not sure the count, but I think it was like 75%. I'm going to put a study on, on the screen. I think it's like 75% of centenarians. They did a study where about 75% were considered to die of old age. No, no diseases. They just died in their sleep. And what do you think happened? They had no diseases. How did you die? Frailty. Frailty, ladies and gentlemen. What I am saying is this. You need a lifetime of training for your entire body. You have to train special, specific training. Not just resistance training, jogging. You need to do plyometrics. You need to do oscillatory training, proprioception training, reflexes. You need to train the neuromuscular system. All your mood, and by the way, like I said earlier, your entire body has to be trained. So studies on elite athletes are nonsense and they're misleading. They didn't train for this. All they trained was for, and, and another thing, they lied to you. Elite athletes didn't, didn't play a sport their entire life. Okay. What did they do in the 60s, 70s, even 80s when they stopped? Because their exercise capacity diminished. They couldn't go on. What do you think they did after that? You think they continued? If they did, they were too slow. They lost fast motor units somewhere in their body. And that's where the aging process attacked them. The whole marks of aging. Okay, look, I'm not going to keep going. All I'm saying is I'm giving you a synopsis of what's coming. I am going to interview experts. They come into my channel. I'm going to prove all this to you that what you're being told by longevity experts that aging reversal is around the corner, blah, blah, blah. And then you got some, some uh, I won't mention no names, don't die. I'm going to be immortal. I'm going to live to 200. Listen, you better wake up and you better live a healthy lifestyle and increase your health span because you're not going as it stands right now. No one is going past 120. No one. Not even me. No one is going past 120. Unless you can find a way to slow the loss of motor units from an early age, then it can be done. I am working on that. But as it stands right now, I got experts coming on my channel soon this year. You don't have to believe me, but you're going to have to believe them when they agree with what I'm saying here. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the New Year's. Let's start with a good one. Have a great day, everyone.